The basic concept of using the lasso tools is just like we used with the rectangular and elliptical marquee tools. You simply make a selection and then you can work with that selection. If I go back to my paintbrush tool here and I paint over that, notice how the selection is giving me an active area and everything else is protected. Let's just deselect that. There we go. Now back to the tool we have three basic tools the lasso tool this is a freehand tool so the little triangle is that's the pointer for that and you can just freehand a selection in here and depending upon how careful you are it's it's pretty good now one thing about using the freehand tool if you're zoomed in it's a little bit easier to do this you can make a, a freehand selection and then you have to always loop back around to the beginning. Now, just come right next to the beginning. Once you're there, it'll automatically close that out for you. We have our same options down below, a new selection, add to a selection, subtract from a selection, or intersect a selection. You have all your options. Anti-aliasing simply smooths out that edge. And we can make a feathered edge and refine that feathered edge as well. So pretty straightforward stuff in here. Let's just delete this selection. There we go, deselect that. The next tool is the magnetic lasso tool. The bottom option there is feather. A little hard to see it, but that's a feathering option. You feather an edge. Now what this does is it tries to follow an edge. So if I come in here, it's going to try to find where that edge is and then link up on that edge. Now if the edge is real obvious, it's pretty good about it. It's not doing too poorly of a job here. It's not great, but it's not too bad of a job. I'll just pull it back around here to the beginning again and close that out. You see, it kind of messed it right down in there. A little messed it right here, but it, it's, it's not too bad. It kind of messed up right there. does a pretty fair job. Again, the stronger the contrast is on that edge, the easier this is going to follow that. Now you can control the selection area here by adjusting the width and the contrast amount that it's looking for. That will help to refine that. The final tool here is the polygonal lasso tool. And we're, with the regular lasso tool you just kind of draw a shape like that and it creates your selection. With the polygonal lasso tool you click and then you can pull the line to your next click point. Click and that locks that point in place and click and that locks that in and then click and so forth to create your shape. Now this is my favorite of the selection tools to use in most cases because it can be very very specific about this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Let's click on our zoom and I'll zoom in a touch like that. Hold the spacebar down, move over a little bit, grab my polygonal lasso tool and I can then come in here and then just begin clicking. So I can, I can find where I want to position my next spot. Click there and just take my time to come in and find those spots that I want to have that selection on. So you can be actually very careful with this tool. If I hold the space bar down, I can move the image around, let go, and I'm back to my selection tool again. So using that spacebar trick with the zoom, if you're zoomed in is you know very useful when you're using that with the this particular tool, it makes it pretty easy to make very, very nice selections. And again, this is my favorite tool when I am making any kind of a selection. I tend to try this tool first. It takes a little, little longer to do it this way but the quality of the selection is really very very good if you're doing a hand-drawn selection. We'll be talking about some automated selections in the next video, but this is a nice way to do hand-drawn selections. I'll just stop it right there and we'll move back around back to the beginning point there. You can see how nice that selection was in a very very tight selection because I was able to position each new spot as I made that selection. So that's the polygonal lasso tool down there. So for hand-drawn shapes, 
you know, these are all very good. Just, you know, you might want to try them out, see which one you like using the best. And again, you can feather the edge if you want to and refine your feathered edge. And you have those standard options of new selections or add to or subtract or intersect on those selections. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.